Welcome back to Plant My Flowers, everyone. I'm glad you're joining me again today. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my larger plants, and it's going to be my yucca cane, also known as the spineless yucca. A showstopper, a large plant, but also an easy care, low maintenance plant. This variety of yucca is called yucca elephantips. So you can see they have these spiky yet not thorny edges here. What's really cool about the yucca elephantips is that it doesn't require high quality soil and it can resist drought. If you do neglect it just a little bit and uh, leave it in a room or what have you, it is perfectly fine. I've had my yucca plant in my care for about two years, I'll say. I actually bought it at a local grocery store. Also keep in mind that it doesn't need direct sunlight, but it just needs indirect bright light. So that could be a shade in between, um, a distance away from a window. That way you're not sunburning the leaves as well. I have a sheer blind, which I'll show you all, that gives it that indirect lighting, but it's still bright light because it's sheer. It can endure being a low light setting, but this plant thrives off of that bright indirect light and it will grow faster if it's given that too. In the summertime, I did keep it outside because the temperature ranges were still staying within its optimal range. I kept it on a shaded region of the front porch. Um, that way it wasn't getting those direct sunbeams that would burn the leaves of the outside of it. it to be rotated bi-weekly in order for it to grow full and lush all the way throughout the plant so it wasn't very lush on one side and thin on the other side because of light exposures. It did grow exponentially, I'll say. Very full, very lush being out in that sun or outside in those temperature ranges. You do need to make sure that you check on your plants occasionally just to make sure that they are doing well where you've placed them. Sometimes it just is a matter of a little bit of tweaking before your plant is in its optimum conditions. Also a very easy plant to read. It will yellow on the tips of its leaves or at the base of its leaves if anything is really wrong with it. You'll have some signs ahead of time where you can fix the issue or resolve it before it becomes a problem that cannot be resolved. larger plants like this guy, it's a little bit different how I go about checking when it needs water. I wouldn't want to go about physically lifting this one up, so I use this handy dandy skewer. Go about poking the skewer into the soil about halfway between the pot and the plant itself. This skewer gives me the opportunity to see how dry the soil is and how deep before I get to moisture. Just give me one moment and I'll show you. So you can kind of see where it goes from being dry up here to a little damp where the wood turns darker from here on. I stuck the entirety of this skewer into the pot and that showed me that about the first, what, two to three inches are dry, whereas the last two inches are wet. actually purifies the air of your rooms as well so it's very similar to my last video the snake plant where I'll put the link in the bio it is toxic to pets so be very careful with where you place it thanks for watching plant Maya flowers we'll see you next time on the next episode